Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to install and use Laravel debug bar package. Now I will go to my project and first thing first thing I do is to change the server.php file to index.php. And this is not necessary as I don't want to append public within project URL. Now I will go back to my terminal and type composer required followed by package name to install it. Now I will publish the package config file within my project config directory. After that I will open app.php within config folder and add service provider and alias. Now I will go to browser and run, run my Laravel project. As you can see a red stripe strip at the bottom which is our Laravel debug bar which is our Laravel debug bar and because of some reason you don't see debug bar then you should go you should go to your application copy HD access file from public folder and paste it within your root folder uh, and uh, and rerun the program. The reason for this may be because uh, JavaScript could ha not have been loaded properly within your application. So uh, copy pasting .ht access file within uh, within your root project will fix that issue. Now we will see how to use Laravel debug bar to debug a variable. I have created a array that is query and within this and within this array there are information related to name and age. So now I will call debug bar class followed by scope position operator and call debug method. Within the debug method there is I'll pass query that I want to debug. In this case it is a query array. If I go back and refresh my program then you can see within the message tab you see the array that I have been sent to debug. Similarly, you can use labels for this such as info, error, etc. So besides the message tab, there is a timeline which displays the, uh, the at, at how much time it takes for application to load such as booting and application start etc. And the third tab is related to exceptions. The views tab shows the information of which all are the views loaded including the nested views or subviews. Within the route tab you can see the current route and also see the list of routes if you click on the folder icon. In query tab it shows what are how many different types of queries have executed that is it related to that database queries with also the time and in models it shows which are the models used to retrieve the data next comes emails and then gates and then session if a user has logged his session sh information is shown here and the last is the request uh, request object information related to the current request so for debugging laravel provides you different kinds of uh, labels or alerts which you can uh, display in your message messenger section and if you wish to create your own label or own message call add message which takes two parameters first is the uh, array to the variable to debug and the second one is the custom a label name it may be any any kind of label name so you have to hide the laravel debug bar then you can go in the production mode you go to env and uh, and change app debug from true to false this way the debug bar gets hidden and for some reason you even want to show the debug bar in production uh, mode then use debug bar underscore enabled 
and assign the value has to this will override app debug bar uh, value and show the debug bar so now you can see here you can also conditionally disable or enable debug bar uh, based on if you want to disable based on the particular role then you can also do that just by calling enable or disable method on debug bar class now I will show you how to debug variables within the uh, views for that I will create a test blade.php file and pass query array has a parameter to view as data to view and use debug fun debug function within the debug function there will be a variable that I want to debug so when I run my program you can see the variable data is displayed within the message tab I have also created a post table and filled it with some dummy data I will be using this uh, object uh, I will be using this uh, post and displaying the data within the message tab for the sake of demonstration So I got, I forgot to uh, change the database name. I will do that now. Now if I run my program, then you can see within the message tab, the object of post is displayed. So this is how we can use Laravel debug bar to debug our application. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.